In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to fit a decision tree model in Jump. So here I've taken the bank marketing data and let's say if I want to make a classification tree. Whenever the response is of nominal type or categorical type, the type of tree that will gen that gen Jump will generate is the classification tree. In case the response is continuous, the type of tree that Jump will generate is known as the uh, regression tree. To fit a decision tree first of all make make a validation column by choosing analyze predictive modeling and make validation column option here I have already created the validation column so directly I will choose the option to make the decision tree which is partition under this you can choose the variables of your interest but make sure that there is no I mean there is no need to convert the categorical variable into dummy variable whenever we are using the decision tree because it is going to split the data so there is no point in uh, converting the categorical variables into the dummy variables because it will split the data based on the categories in case of the categorical variable and based on the individual values in case of the continuous variable so for demonstration purpose i'm just selecting three variables and see I have not chosen the indicator or dummy variable as the x variable and y is your y response the validation is the validation column make sure informative missing is checked this is helpful whenever the data has some missing values it has inbuilt procedure to correct for not exactly correct for them but you know make a tree for those missing values also so make sure it is checked and then click on ok and then you will get this option of go so first it will generate a very big tree and then it will prune as per the criteria uh, the usual criteria here is that r square that if the r square value on the validation it stops increasing then the tree the tree will not be further split so this is the pruned tree the final value and under this red triangle you can choose other options like what is the split count how many uh, variable how many you know class representations how many uh, data points belonging to each class are in the each uh, node so for example here there are approximately uh, 1654 uh, sorry exactly 1654 vari uh, number of data points which belong to no class so if a person is has a age of age of less than 61 and uh, married then the probability of belonging to no class is 0.9098 and the probability of belonging to yes class is 0.9002 you can then choose optimal cutoff probability and uh, decide the best uh, uh, tree based on that where you know it is leading to less number of uh, misclassification uh, the similar procedure that you perform in the logistic regression so under red triangle you can also choose ROC curve you can see under this red triangle also you can choose the uh, decision threshold what should be the p-value okay like this we can do and this is how we fit the decision tree in the new uh, jump